Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video, and I'm super happy to have on with me another one of our Clover Clan Boss competitors, the one, the only, Mr. Nub Raids. He's probably the most junior member to the Clan Boss fraternity here, but uh, we're about to see how he's feeling about his draft because that's what we are, we're here to talk about today. So, how you doing, Nub? Uh, I I'm good. I'm good. I've had a very busy day, Deadwood. Uh... Yeah. You might know that I picked Ruella in my draft, and I don't actually have Ruella. Oh, God. Uh, and I figured, you know, we'd just pull some shards on the test server. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what's the big deal? It's not <laughs> that bad. Mm -hmm. um, I am almost 250,000 gems into pulling ancient shards right now. No sign of Ruella. I've got two Glacea Soul Guides, so that's kind of cool. Two of them. <laughs> that's great. Uh, I, I think I've, I think I actually <laughs> have three Helicats, which would be nice for this clan boss thing. But no, no sign of Ruella. Uh, wow. It, it takes so long to pull shards. I can't believe it. Oh, my it does. God. It, especially when you have to then feed those champions, right? And to free up more that's, space. I'm doing that on the second monitor right now, just one by one. Feed them all <laughs> in, and then, then you've, you've got the, the permanent fusion, so you have to click, yeah, it's a fusion, I want to sacrifice it. The epics, uh, unlock it, yeah, I want to unlock it. Oh my god. Cool. <laughs> so it's, it's going very well, I think, honestly. Mm, the, win, mm, the win's mm. in the bag. <laughs> uh, I feel awful for you uh, having to do that. <laughs> uh, wow, that is, uh, that. you know what, that was such a bold maneuver when you offer you know you mm. opted to make that pick in the first place like we all kind of knew that's going to be a bit of a gamble um obviously yeah. you're regretting that choice right now um <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you can walk us through a little bit like what your thought process was as far as like making that choice because i think ruella ruella is an excellent champion right she has a huge mm. turn meter boost which can be useful if you can properly speed tune it um but that's kind of tricky in and of itself but she brings a ton of debuffs. She brings a lot of damage. Um, there are a lot of things to like about her kit. Um, but yeah, what was your what was your thought process as far as you know making that pick? Um, obviously, you thought you'd be able to pull her pretty easy, so we don't have to really go into that too bad. But yeah. like as far as like the <laughs> champion itself, yeah, uh, it was definitely a gamble because I, I hadn't gone into this planning to pick her. Mm. And honestly, some of this is a little bit inexperienced, right? Because I was thinking, oh, a two one champ. I, I want to have something I did, but I don't actually know how two one works. That's the problem. Ah, um, ah, so I was like, yeah. Ah, turn meter boost, like Deacon and Seeker and stuff like that. That will help uh -huh. me to like go really fast. And she also brings all these debuffs, so it should be really good. But I actually think it's going to be like you said. I, I actually don't know how to speech unit with her turn meter to make it work. So okay. that's something I've got to experiment with and try to figure out. <laughs> I'll be interested um, to see. <laughs> yeah. Now I do I do have a speed tune where I could just turn off her turn meter boost, but that's like a real bummer, right? Because you're missing half of the champion's value at yeah. that point and you miss the increased crit rate, which I think would add quite a lot of uh of damage to the team by letting it also makes it a lot easier flexible. to get get under the player power limit with the increased crit rate as well. Um, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah oh. the, the Ruella pick was the spicy pick, uh, and it certainly <laughs> turned out to be spicy in multiple ways. Uh, but hey, it's a bit of fun too, right? It's a bit of absolutely, fun, so. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, you know, when we're done here, if you want, we can go through, we can go over the calculator a little bit and talk about uh, some ideas that maybe I can give you a little bit of a helping hand as far as finding a speed tune or at least how to find a speed tune with her. I don't know of any yeah. speed tunes that'll work with her in this kind of a team, but maybe we can yeah. you know, talk a little bit through some of it and you know, give you a little bit of a, uh, uh, a way to get there, right? Because that's, sure, that's the beauty sure. of the calculator. You can figure out how to do it on your own. It's there available for you to do that, right? Um, even <laughs> yeah. if navigating I mean, that's, is a little hard. That's sort of the interesting thing about it. Like I was chatting to YST as well, and he's like, oh, I've built my speed tune already. And then I'm going into I'm going like, building a speech i've actually never done that i don't oh. you know <laughs> it's it's kind of more complicated than you think it my, is my version of building a speech you before was open up deadwood jedi guide and just copy the speeds <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it, there, there's more to it when you actually are starting from from scratch from a blank page it's like oh 
Okay. This, this, yeah. is, this is a whole thing, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is actually, I think this is going to be great then, uh, you know, for a couple yeah. of reasons. Hmm. One, I think everybody out there that's going to be watching is going to be real interested in what you can create because you're kind of on the same page as a lot of people in this game, not really having that experience speed tuning. And so trying to have to figure it out and discover it on your own. I think that's actually going to be really cool to see. And then on the other hand, you know, it's going to be great for you just knowing how to do that. But um, I think, you know, I'm really curious as to what kind of team you are going to make. Because it might not be it might not be possible to speed tune with Ruella using that A3 ability. Mm. Or maybe you have to make a substitution in your team that you weren't expecting to make otherwise to be able to get to that spot, you know, trying to find a different champion or anything. Um, I, I guess that's a great question uh, to start off with. Have you already kind of figured out some champions you... I mean, of course, none of this, this all might be moot. You might just yeah. not be able to pull Ruella. So <laughs> that might be a whole different thing. But yeah, that, yeah. Um, that'd be but a whole like, thing. what about substitutions? Have you looked at that as far as dropping a champion from your squad, picking somebody up? Um, yeah, yeah. So I definitely potentially switching out Grush, who is the final pick, who just brings mm. healing, basically. Yeah. Um, possibly bringing in an increased speed champ instead. I was looking at Tagore as a pretty good option. Like in terms of uh, building the speed tune, like it's actually very intimidating when you've got champions with like four turn cooldowns. That's actually super nasty. That's one thing I'm very yeah. jealous about when we look at the other teams of like YST's team, I think, for example, which is just like three turn cooldown, two turn buff. We got a buff extender, just boom, boom, boom. Everything is nice and clean and simple. And I can look at that and that's kind of intuitive to me to build. Uh, it's it's kind of tough for me coming in with like Sepulcher. I was thinking yeah. an interesting replacement for uh, Ruella could be like Frostbringer, who brings decreased defense, increased attack, and s increased speed. But the increased speed's on a four turn cooldown, so makes again, it tough. In terms of in terms of getting that to speed tune, like that's that's to I don't it's, maybe it's doable, but like I don't know how to do it, and I only have so much time because I gotta I gotta spend my time pulling shards for this champ, so. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah the shard it's, pulling it's interesting so great it's so great <laughs> you know that it's yeah. so great makes me so happy so yeah i mean i would have loved to come in and be super competent i don't think i'm gonna quite do that but it will i think still be a good learning experience and like i said probably give a lot of insights to to people watching i hope anyway yeah <laughs> um from the stuff that i'm learning um because like i think even a lot of the stuff is just skills or knowledge that you can yeah. so easily take for granted right they become second nature and you just you, you know how to do them uh when you're used to doing it well i mean make you more someone coming in as a noob it's like uh, what? <laughs> make you feel better i mean i think i don't think anybody screwed up their draft bigger than i did literally taking a champion <laughs> i not only the wrong champion that i intended to take but a champion i don't have on my account either um <laughs> oh, and nice. i yeah, my last pick, I picked Trumbor, and I realized I don't have him on my account. Not even there. I meant to pick Tragor, took Trumbor, and it, was all, it all went to, I don't even think I'm saying the names right. Like, literally, I had no idea what I was yeah. doing there. Um, Funny that you know, he was the champ I was going to pick myself, actually. Yeah. I even have a four-star soul for that guy sitting in uh, the, uh, the altar. Yo, the like, blessings. Oh, the blessings thing, i forgot yeah. about that it was such a, like i started yeah. looking at my champs i'm like oh right i have blessings on some of these guys but i don't have them on a lot of other ones and i was like oh i totally forgot about this it's such a impactful mm. part of things um you know i have to say though looking at your draft um you know i i i thought you did a great job picking you know with most of these champions like i i would say you know with the exception of ruella who obviously mm. you know you know is kind of yeah, a yeah. That's a spicy one. But other than that, I mean, the mm -hmm. I think, was the obvious number one. I actually really like yeah. the Dark Kale pick. I feel like there's a lot of good potential in that. Um, you know, it's a Polker Sentinel, Sandlash Survivor, really clutch champions. And Grush, I, I know there's some limitations to his kit, but, you know, what he does provide mm -hmm. is really important. Healing, healing's been an issue for me, to be honest with you. I'm, yeah. like, struggling <laughs> with that. So um, I didn't, yeah. I, you know, wasn't against really any of those picks i thought you did a really good job with that mm. what was um you know what why don't you give us an overview of what you felt about the draft overall what was that experience like you know you know how did you you know how was that as far as like trying to draft a team and stuff so for me um the first half of the draft i thought was fairly straightforward where it was like a lot of the power picks so it was kind of just trying to 
grab the power picks that were there. Yeah. I said the Ruella was definitely kind of a wild card for sure. But apart from that, I thought the first half was fairly straightforward and the bands were pretty much as expected as well. For me, definitely the, the second half of the draft was really tough. Um, like I was picking last after the second half of the draft as well. So mm. when it came down to it, like it, I was literally during the the stream, you know, on Hell Hades, like increased defense champs, <laughs> ally protection <laughs> champs, uh, looking and seeing like what what's even left <laughs> that can work. Um, like by the time I actually got to my picks, like it, it was really pinched at that point. There wasn't a ton. Like I was kind of tossing up between Sepulcher and Jarag, but. Man, it, it is tough, actually, coming down to the end of it, being like, oh, I need to actually come out with a functional team. Um, that, that, was, that was hard. That was hard. Yeah. And I think you guys probably are a lot more confident in that position than I was. So yeah, like the first half, I was like, yeah, this is fine. And then the second half, I was kind of, the panic mode was setting in a little bit. <laughs> you know? you're, you're looking at the list of the champs and you're like, okay, well, this one's not good. This one's not good. These <laughs> four have been picked. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think you're alone in that. There are a couple, I mean, I know I panicked, yeah. obviously, with my last pick. Yeah. Eight, Hades, I think, yeah. panicked, taking marked with his last pick, you know? It's not yeah, like yeah. you weren't alone in that. Um, mm. I, oh, shoot, I had a question for you and it just like flew out of my head. Um, <laughs> you were talking about how um you know getting that plan was there was there a focus you had in your draft did you come in with a plan or something that you wanted to like accomplish as far as like you know style of team champions to bring in anything like that no man okay <laughs> no <laughs> no uh, I, I just had uh and it was actually something I, i've learned already but no i actually had um like just i had like the first 10 picks which was actually pretty much bang on and then maybe another five like i had like the first or 15 that i thought the power pick champions mm -hmm. pretty locked down so it was kind of one of those things of like okay i've got my tier list i'm going to be grabbing them somewhat in the order of that tier list based off of what people do um so that was kind of locked down i thought that'd be straightforward Right. Yeah, no, for a plan for a whole team? No, hell no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> uh, and like one one thing that I hadn't really thought about is like just not being that familiar with like the idea of 2-1 of teams versus like one for one versus four to three, et cetera. Right. Um, so like now in hindsight, I'm looking at it and going like, oh, oh, I really do need a two for one team like to be able to, to do the damage and other people are going to be doing two for one teams. And I hadn't realized that that did so much more damage than a slower team. Mm. So that's a little bit of a wrench in the thing. Like that's just, again, something I think someone who's more experienced would take for granted. Be like, oh yeah, of course, you know, the two for one teams and the three for one teams, we're doing way more damage and the counter attack stuff. Um, whereas yeah, I if you don't, wasn't fully cogent of that fact. <laughs> if you don't, I mean, if you don't know, you don't know, right? When it comes right down mm -hmm. to it. And that's, you know, I think a byword for a lot of us in this game. Um, and, you know, it's always shocking to me, even like when you mm. can finally do that. I, I think my free to play, you know, I ended up building a two one ratio team, and I was, ex I, like, we, me and me and YC had a bet so you could get the four key ultra nightmare first, <laughs> and I ended up getting the three key ultra nightmare, and I was shocked. Ooh. Like the damage I was putting up was like, oh, I can do that. Well, okay, this changes everything. You know what I mean? Um, because I just wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't aware either of like how. You know, it's been so long since I actually built like a bare bones kind of team. And I was like, oh, okay, this mm. is way more effective than I was expecting it was going to be. Um, what about the rest of the draft? Were there any uh, any picks that you particularly liked? Any picks that you were like, oh, that's a that was a surprise and not something I really expected? Anything along those lines? I mean, obviously, with the understanding that you went in without any expectations, um, without really knowing what was going <laughs> to happen. Um, but yeah, anything kind of jump out to you? Uh, well, I mean, one thing that jumped out was something that got banned away, but it was the uh, Farrakh and the Fat and White Dryad Nia combo that Colton mm -hmm. was trying to put together. I thought that I was thought super that was cool, because I hadn't actually thought of that. But White Dryad Nia used the cooldown reduction on Farrakh, and, and he just pumped out ally attacks like crazy. I was like, oh, that's actually super sick. That's very clever. Ally attack um, can be really strong. Like, you're talking about 2-1 ratios? Mm -hmm. For a long time, I didn't realize how powerful <laughs> ally attack could be, because it basically is that same kind of uh, damage boost, right? Um, it's super yeah. effective. <laughs> um, so yeah, I yeah, thought I thought that, that was would, that was one that that stood out. Um, 
Yeah, I'm actually really interested to see what Hell Hades does with Claude. Claude is one of my favorite champions. I actually use Claude a lot. I use him in Arena. I use him in Iron Twins. Oh, wow. Um, I love so, him. He's a great yeah, champion. Actually, yeah, he's great. But I, obviously, I never use him in Clan Boss because I just I, th I have a Bad Eater team that I built from the site, your website, and right. I've been running for the last year ad nauseum. <laughs> um, so I've never used him in Clan Boss. So I'm actually really excited to see what he does in Clan Boss. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, and then you you stole my Trumbor, which is a bit of a surprise. I didn't see that sorry. one. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I don't even want him. I wasn't even planning I was, to. I, I know. I know. I was like, oh, this lovely <laughs> champion. He's got Leech on his A1. He's got ally protection, which I don't really have. Yeah. Actually might fit perfectly in my team. Uh, and then Deadwood swooped in. I was like, I picked the wrong champ. Couldn't I totally offered it. to trade him to you, but you didn't want to trade any, anything good Stop before me. him. Sent me right through the heart. <laughs> apologies, apologies. Wasn't my intention. I guess the, the side bonus there. Um, well, this is interesting. Uh, so, yeah, so you kind of in a in an odd spot here, right? With both Ruella and that turn meter boost, and then you've also kind of need a with the Sandlash Survivor getting a speed champion in there could you know yeah. enable that two one ratio team pretty easily. So it's going to be very mm -hmm. interesting to see what you do because i think out of everybody here i think you're the one that i'm i'm confident is going to make a substitution right um that somebody's yeah, probably yeah, going to be coming in for this team so i'm really interested and really curious to see what that choice is for you because i think you i mean you have a few options here as far as ways to go um mm -hmm. yeah i'm real i'm real like, curious like, about this i could tell you my current thought is probably trying to gore instead of grush so uh -huh. we get the increased speed. Um, I think he gives you some damage reduction and stuff as well. Uh, uh, yeah. I didn't actually have to go where I've pulled like three of them already today with my 250,000 gems. That's pretty so good. That's cool. That's, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm thinking I could bring him in as that three turn uh, speed. Oh, he also brings a heal. Sorry, on his increased speed and a heal. Now, I don't know if it's going to be enough uh, to keep the team alive. And I don't yeah. know how much lifesteal I'm actually going to have, et cetera. So, yeah, yeah. It's all uh He can actually do a whole thing. I think, I, I mean, I, I mean, I can tell you from the experience I'm having, because I also have a team that's kind of lacking some healing. Um, mm. If you can go, I mean, it's going to depend how much you can protect yourselves, right? So, like, you don't have that ally protector, mm -hmm. you know. You do have the increased defense. So there is some good stuff going on there. Um, but that amount of healing should do a pretty decent job, you know, plus we have a lot of sets yeah. that can really help that. Right. Um, I imagine. Yeah. And actually that's a great, I think that's a great spot to ask is like, what are, you know, you know, we all know champions is part of it. Right. And that's the fun part about this draft, fun part about the game, pulling new champions and stuff, but it's not the only part in, in a lot of ways, maybe not even the most significant, you know, gear sets can do wonders for your team is there anything that you're kind of leaning on right now as far as like you know sets that you're trying to use or approaches that way to help make your team stronger i mean obviously you're probably still pulling shards as opposed to building but yeah you know when you get to that point do you have any you know real ideas of ways mm -hmm. you want to go about that yes so i've got a few different ideas definitely i'm i'm gonna be trying i think let me check oh the forge is carried over that's really good for me <laughs> yes yes that helps a ton thank god <laughs> um, I, I might, I might try like, I might try just almost everyone in Guardian. I'm curious how that works. Stacking Guardian because I don't have a reliable ally protection, and it gives a heal per turn. That might be interesting. I don't know if it works. We'll find out. Guardian um, is a very effective approach. Actually, mm. I mean, I can tell you that, but it gives you healing yeah. and it does help protect. So that's a good one for sure. Yes, it, it's one in there. I do. I don't really have any life steal, but I've got 139 bloodthirst I can forge. So that's something <laughs> that will help. One thing that I'm I'm totally bummed about, man, that I was saying to myself, like, af especially after faction games, right? The, the last big competition we did. Yeah. Um, I was like, man, like I need to, you know, make sure to be prepared for like these next uh, next competitions and stuff. And like, it's okay to spend a bit more. I don't spend much. It's like spend more to get this stuff. Let's go. Mm -hmm. when the forge pass stuff came out i was buying every second forge pass that was my way of doing it so defiant okay. came out and i was like yo it's cool it's really good but i'll, I'll buy it the second time it's, it's all the good. off week <laughs> they, they, didn't, they didn't bring it back a second time huh? so i've got like no defiant here which would be 
oh that would be so handy in this sort of team Fine, um, good. you know th yeah. this is the place that it would be huge someone in like bloodthirst and defiant is gonna add could add several turns on and that's just probably not i think i've got a few five star pieces maybe but i don't know if i'll be able to build it with what i've got because you get so few pieces without paying so that's mm -hmm. a bummer i'm like mm -hmm. turn back the clock i should have bought that forge pass <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that defiant with a guardian set is a pretty nasty combo for clan boss, you know, like yeah. help mitigate damage and protect your team is a pretty, pretty nice we'll be, pairing. Uh, I'll be rocking resilience instead, <laughs> presenting the yeah. faction war budget option. There you go. Do you have, <laughs> do you have stalwart gear on your account? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. But you see, this is the thing. I don't have like any stalwart, I don't have any lifesteal. Um, Cause it's just you know if you're doing the clan boss stuff that's super relevant but outside of that it's it's limited yeah it's more niche uh i do i actually might need to build up some stalwart or defiant i've seen that can be really good for new ice golem give you a lot of safety i can see um, that also really good for uh the sand devil too uh really nice yeah. for that yeah yeah so yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting <laughs> we'll wow see. Yeah, well, I'm so super a, yeah. curious where you're going to be going with this. Um, you know, I think you have a lot of options as far as like, mm -hmm. you know, where to take your team, at least, you know, having Sandlash Survivor, I have to tell you that that pick hurt my soul a little bit. Um, yeah, because <laughs> uh, I was really hoping I really hoping to, and the buff extender was going to be there for me. And yes. Sandlash is one of the best. Um, so that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. If, with thanks hindsight, if I was doing this again, I, I would have probably grab that god seeker instead of ruella in round three I, mm. I i was trying to like i was trying to be too flexible with the picks and i was thinking like oh ruella would be really good in the demitha comp and stuff like that i should have really been just like they're banning demitha and then i should have been like okay dark kale and something i definitely want to run with and like god seeker would have been such a safe pick it's um, so funny you say that because i was i had that same thought when i took an axe which is great i, I don't really regret that so much but i I kind yeah. of wish I'd taken uh, my speed champion. I would have taken Archmage there, mm -hmm. and I think that would have yeah. made things very interesting. Um, yeah, you know. definitely. That, that's, that's why I sort of regret about Ruella. I was like, man, I, like if I have to sub in for Ruella, like there's actually so many champs that do decrease defense, weaken, uh, and that like they're not all going to be picked. Or there's tons of poisoners. Like there's so many good damage dealers actually. Yeah, that it's much more flexible than finding like a good three turn cooldown ally protection or three yeah. turn cooldown buff extender there's far fewer of those so or block debuffs, was, whatever so yeah I, I actually think one of the best picks in the entire draft was when yst took kotatsu in that third round yes because that oh. i was just like leech increased defense all in a three turn cooldown yeah i'm yeah. i mean sign me yeah. up and decrease attack you, decrease attack as well yeah like that yeah. champion's insane yeah He's i mean so, it's not so it's not 100 percent. that's the negative but like yeah, dude, I don't even care. Like, it's so you know, good. So I actually don't have a Tatsu, and I haven't pulled him in two hundred fifty thousand gems. So that makes oh. me feel better. If I had there picked a Tatsu, there I'd be go. in the same position here. <laughs> 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 Just pull it shards, baby. <laughs> it's oh, like, it's wow. like the most. If enjoyable thing about the game the hype of pulling shards is now and you're just over it worst, now <laughs> the worst thing in the, yeah it's when you've got too many shards it's like just if you had to eat just pizza all day every day for three weeks suddenly right. pizza is no good no more you got yeah. totally numb to the experience now <laughs> yeah. uh that's so funny that's so funny well hey look man i i have to tell you um two things actually i should say about that you know, one, I'm super happy you're a part of this, right? Like, I just, I've always really enjoyed your content that you put out there. You're a super nice guy, and I just, like, I'm glad you get to be a part of this, you know. You were part of the faction games, but I'm glad we brought you in for the clan boss. Um, and second thing, which nobody else out there knows, I actually did a collab with Nub, like, four months ago. And I was in the middle of, like, a real bad anxiety period for me, and I never put it out there. I still have it, and one of these days I'm going to put it out. <laughs> because it was one of the best collaborations talking about hydra i've ever like i've done and we covered a lot of topics it was really helpful and i'm still using some of the teams that you helped me build it was Yo, really? oh really? Nice. it's been so good for me <laughs> yeah so good but i've taken all the information you gave me and Im improved on them and stuff since then but like it's just mm. it was such a nice nice time and i really enjoyed it i felt really bad about 
not putting it out there. So <laughs> I'm saying this for two reasons. One, apologies to you for not actually putting that out there, but taking your time up. And two, to let you guys know, at some point I will get that out there for you. So you're going to want to see it um, when it comes by. But if you like Hydra content, if you like any content really in this game, um, Nub is like on point. Like he provides really good content, is an excellent excellent at this job and he's also like a super nice guy so he's an easy easy listen to as far as i'm concerned easy watch <laughs> um and so you definitely should go by subscribe to this channel i'll have that link down below obviously um again guys if you haven't yet go by the website we've got all our latest videos including this one will be up there we've got articles i'm putting together right now as we're as we're talking i'm writing right now i'm doing a draft grade so i'm grading every pick as it comes through so that's going to be uh spicy and fun i think um did an <laughs> overview of the draft i'm going to be breaking down everybody's teams as well with my thoughts on them where i think they might want to go and stuff so we're gonna have some fun stuff coming up on there so make sure to go check that out um i just want to say thanks man thanks so much for being a part of this coming on and uh uh you know couldn't ask for anything more yeah no absolutely it's it's great to be part of it i love the faction games like that was a highlight from like playing raid it's yeah just a highlight and making videos and youtube just in general it's <laughs> fantastic so it's awesome. really cool to be part of, of this as well i do this like building the team stuff that's kind of stressful but man like the draft is super fun <laughs> actually seeing the teams is super fun and the banter with the creators that's great <laughs> yeah yeah so, yeah agreed yeah. agreed all the, the stuff we have to do sucks i don't want to build this yeah. team but everything else is great yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm with you on that well uh <laughs> Well, thanks again for coming by. I'm really excited to see what you uh, put together. I think uh, yours might be the most anticipated out of all the teams that are going to be out there. So I'm really, I'm just, oh I think it's a real, a real interesting group of champions that you have, you know, um, and, you know, Ooh. regardless of the results, just being a part of this and, you know, taking the time to do this, which is a big commitment is, you know, I think really appreciated <laughs> by everybody. So thanks again. Make sure guys go subscribe to his channel and subscribe to mine while you're here. I don't know why you have it if you have it. So take that time. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to check out the website. And uh, again, big thanks to Nub. And uh, guys, till next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi.